Good morning, Jerusalem family and friends, and welcome to our Sunday School lesson for July 24th. What a beautiful day that the Lord has given us today. So let us start with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we just come this morning first, Lord, to say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for blessing us today, dear Father. We thank you, dear Lord, for the grace and mercy that you've given us that we know that we do not deserve, dear Father. Heavenly Father, right now, we just ask that you would bless this lesson, dear Father, and show us how we can apply it to our lives. In everything we do, we'll be careful to give you the honor, the praise, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, our Sunday School lesson this morning is entitled, The Word Saves, and we are in the um, 12th chapter of John. And um, I'm going to be adding a couple of verses to our Sunday School lesson because I think it helps us to, to start um, with, the, with two verses ahead of the lesson. So um, our aim for change today, by the end of the lesson, we will recognize that Jesus is God. We will desire a closer relationship with God through choosing to follow Christ and share with others the opportunity to come into the light of Christ. Okay, our focal verse says, I am come a light into the world that whosoever believe on me should not abide in darkness. So um, there aren't that many verses in this lesson today. So I'm going to go ahead and read all of them um, right now. And I'm going to start again. We're in, in John chapter 12. Um, and I'm going to read verse 37. And then I'm going to skip down to 42 and read through um, verse 50. And it reads, even, at, at, even after Jesus had done all these miraculous signs in their presence, they still would not believe in him. Verse 42, yet at the same time, many even among the leaders believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they would not confess their faith for fear they would be put out of the synagogue. For they loved praise from men more than praise from God. Then Jesus cried out, When a man believes in me, he does not believe in me only, but in the one who sent me. When he looks at me, he sees the one who sent me. I have come into the world as a light, so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. As for the person who hears my words but do not keep them, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save it. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and does not accept my words. That very word which I spoke will condemn him at the last day. For I did not speak of my own accord, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and how to say it. I know that his command leads to eternal life. So whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. Amen. There's a lot in this um, lesson. It's a, it's a short, simple message for us today. Uh, but it's, um, there is a lot here. Um, so just to start off, um, the first part of this lesson is about recognizing that Jesus is God. Jesus is part of the Trinity. Um, in this part of the lesson, G Jesus is actually making his farewell address to the people. He talks to um, his disciples privately after this, but this is his last public address. His time on earth is coming to an end soon, um, and he, he, his goal is to save as many as possible. He came to bring salvation to us. Um, as a matter of fact, going back to two verses as I did before, uh, as I read, we see that there were some rulers who actually believed in him, uh, but would not comp confess because they were more concerned with being thrown out of the synagogue, and they were more concerned with the praise of men. The other important part of this lesson is that Jesus is a part of the Trinity. We know that the Trinity is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the, Jesus told them in verse 44 that if you trust him, you are trusting the Father. He does not separate himself from the Father as he goes on to say 
when you see me, you see the Father, the one who sent him. And I'm going to go back and read um, John 1 and 1, a very familiar verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Okay, so in this verse, Jesus is letting us know, and God is letting us know, that Jesus is the Word. Jesus is the one that saves. Another message that we see here is that Jesus is referred to as the light of the world. Throughout the book of John, John refers to Jesus as the light. He says he's the, he was the one who um, brought the light to us in message. Um, Jesus refers to himself as the light in verse 46 as he said, I have come as a light unto the world. Jesus makes his message very simple by putting it in terms that we can understand. And as, as I said, throughout John's gospel, um, he refers to Jesus as the light, and he said he came to bear witness to the light. Darkness represents the world, and we are seeing so much darkness right now. Um, as we think about what's happening in the world right now, we see mass shootings, and not just in the streets, but now in our schools in our churches, in parades, innocent lives being um, taken away. And um, we're still going through a pandemic. This is, 19, this is 2022, yet we are um, in our third year of um, dealing with the pandemic. Uh, something unheard of if you were to think about this five years ago. We even know right now, as we think back, probably someone that either in our family or a loved one who's dealt with loss due to that. And so that is why it's so important that we be the, the eyes and ears and we be the one that carries the gospel because we know there are family and friends that need to hear the word. And then we know that as we lose ones and as they lose ones, that they understand what it is to be alive in Christ. The scriptures remind us that we can be in this world, but not of the world. Our second aim is we need to desire a closer relationship with God by choosing to follow him. Any situation that we find ourselves in, we can see Christ for the answer through prayer and through the scripture, just through our study of the scripture. Um, the Bible is, we know, it's, it's a lamp uh, unto our feet and a life a light unto our pathway. Um, we get in, and stay close to God by seeking him, not only for the big things, but for the small things. And also to remember to be thankful for the big things and the small things. Jesus, I mean, Matthew uh, 6 and 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Jesus knows what we desire, and more importantly, he knows what we need, and he's going to provide what we need. We just need to stay close to him, and we need to draw closer to him by keeping our focus on God. Our third lesson aim is for us to share Christ with others, asking God to draw us to those who we can share the light of Christ with. Jesus said his disciples would do greater works because he was going to be with the Father. When we share the gospel, we are doing God's greater works. God came to save the world. His purpose was to bring salvation to the world. So Jesus' message is simple. Follow him. And there is comfort in bringing this word to our loved ones and to others in our circle. We can stay on the positive note and just tell them about the goodness of God. Tell them what God has done in our lives. He did not come to judge us, but to save us. Yet we know that there is a judgment day for those who reject the message. But his message while he walked here on earth was that salvation leads to eternal life. 
So we go back to the title of this lesson, the word saves. John 1 and 1 says, the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Jesus is the word. Jesus saves. The Bible shows us God's character and he and provides us God's revelation of himself to his people. In the Bible, we see God's holy, unchanging, faithful, gracious, and loving character. When we read and study the word, Jesus reveals how we are to live our lives. The Bible is our guide to live by and a great gift that God has left for us. In John 1, 1, God revealed himself as the word. God is the word and the word saves. Amen. I hope everyone has a blessed Sunday. Be blessed.